It's common in mechanics problems to encounter a plane inclined at an angle theta with a block of mass m on it. In these cases, we often set up a coordinate system rotated to align with the plane so that x is parallel to the plane and y is perpendicular to it. And then we need to draw a free body diagram resolving the forces onto this rotated coordinate system. So let me replace the block with a dot and turn this into a free body diagram. The two most common forces are the weight and the normal force. Weight acts straight down as always, and the normal force is perpendicular to the surface, so it acts in this direction. The normal force only has a y component, and I'll draw the components of the weight here in red. There's the y component, and perpendicular to that, the x component. To find the lengths of these components, we need to see where the angle theta lies inside this right triangle. And to do that, it's helpful to draw a couple of reference lines, one horizontal and one vertical. Now we can see that this is the angle theta, that's the angle of the incline, and given these two right angles, we see this must also be the angle theta, and then from geometry, this is theta as well. Now we can write that the y component of the weight has a length of mg cosine theta, it's in the negative direction in this case, and the x component has a length of mg sine theta. Notice that when theta equals zero, when the inclined plane becomes a horizontal surface, the weight is fully in the y direction and the x component goes away, as expected. 